Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today I wanted to share some thoughts on why I think we love paper books so much. So this video was kind of inspired by um, a discussion that's been going on in the booktube space over the last week or two about book formats and the different merits of book formats. Um, so this started with a video by Michael K. Vaughan where he was talking about just that and talking about how he finds himself more drawn to reading uh, books in the, the mass market paperback format in particular. Uh, Troy Treadup um, made a video kind of expanding on that a bit and talking about his personal relationship with mass market paperbacks, um, which was a really very entertaining video. I, I urge you to check out all of these videos. They're all worth watching. Um, and Steve Donoghue made a really good video talking about um, the differences between uh, digital reading and like physical paper reading and how objectively um, you know digital reading is is better in, in his opinion and I kind of agree with with all of them so I think Michael and Troy's videos were really about their their love of the, the mass market paperback form and when we say mass market paperback what do we mean we mean this kind of smaller size of paperback um, which used to be you know everywhere and now seems to be dying out a bit sadly um, so yeah, so Michael and Troy's video is really about their love of the mass market paperback format. Steve's video is a more objective video about you know the, the merits of, of reading on Kindles or other other e-reading devices. Um, what I wanted to talk about today though was something slightly different but inspired by those videos, and that's the question of why we value paper books so much. Why it is that paper books speak to us? And, you know, why for, for, for Troy and Michael, they are so important. And it's true for me as well. You know, you can see I've got a lot of paper books behind me. I've got a, a, a book cart here stacked with, um, you know, just literally just piles of mass market paperbacks. Um, but I do, you know, I do enjoy reading on my Kindle. I have a number of different Kindle devices. I, I consume a lot of books on Kindle. And I do find it a very efficient way to... Um, you know, to read. It's a really easy way to consume books, but it doesn't have the the magic, um, you know, that, that special pixie dust that, that a, a paper book has. It, it doesn't have that magic somehow. And I think there are two reasons why we're so attached to physical books, you know, still in the age of e-reading. You know, physical book sales, I, I believe, are, you know, are going up at the moment. People love physical books. And I think part of the reason you know, there's a there's a like a, a been a growth in popularity of them at the moment has been been because of social media episode because of you know people sharing photos of books on on Instagram um, and you know book talk in particular has you know seen books as physical objects um, being you know cherished which is which is you know a lovely thing. Um, so I think there's that that kind of swell in the popularity of physical books at the moment. Now, whether that will continue um, remains to be seen. But it feels like, you know, reading generally is something that is is becoming a bit more popular again at the moment. And that's that's fantastic. So anyway, I, I'm in the same camp as Michael and Troy and I love physical books. And when I'm thinking about my own relationship with physical books and probably particularly mass market paperbacks, it occurred to me that there are probably two reasons why for me as like an older person and, and I, what I would say is all three of the other creators I've talked about are you know of a, of a similar age to me um in fact I think I'm I think I might be the youngest of the four so you know we're, we're, we're none of us young um so we are of a similar age and I wonder if that to an extent colors our relationships with with books a little bit but some of the things I'm going to talk about now I think are, are probably more general for, for any age. So anyway, two reasons why I think um, why I think we love physical books. The first one is I think when you read a book in a physical format rather than digitally, rather than via Kindle, it's easier for your brain to build memories about that. So there's something about a physical, tangible experience of an object you can hold in your hand um, and that has a physical form of itself that's different from other books. So, you know, this book is different from this book. You know, they are 
they are different sizes, they feel different in the hand, the pages are slightly different. So you build more of a memory when you're reading a physical book than you would do reading on your Kindle. Because when you're reading on your Kindle, no matter what book you're reading, the physical experience is identical. And obviously the biggest part of reading a book is the book itself, the story, the characters, etc. But I do think the physical part of it plays a part too. Um, and I think that's important. And we've seen, you know, in the last decade or so, I guess, a real, m more of a discussion about physical media. So, um, you know, digital media has become, you know, much easier for people to consume and, and often cheaper, although by no means always cheaper. There has been a, a growth in people appreciating physical media. So I think the first big thing really for this was, you know, vinyl records. So that, you know, they have become, you know, it was some vinyl was something that looked like it was going to die out um, as CDs became more and more popular. But now that, um, you know, most people consume music digitally and, 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 you know, don't necessarily even own that music, so they can consume it through services like Spotify, actually people are starting to, to treasure, you know, for, for pieces of music they really love, are liking the idea of owning a physical copy of that, and, and particularly a record. Now, I think there's something wonderful about vinyl and records in terms of their, it's kind of quite a basic form of technology. Like it, like in a book, I can understand how, you know, that how the ink is printed onto the page, and that means I can read it. I can kind of understand how a record works, how, you know, the needle reads the, the grooves of the record. And you can watch that happening, uh, which is kind of a wonderful thing. So I think that's one of the reasons why books and records have a particular appeal is because it's a it's a simple technology that our, our brains can grasp in a way they can't grasp you know, how Spotify works or or even how CDs work, how, you know, the lasers work and that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, I think there's something about physical media and its ability for us to to form stronger memories that means that we, you know, we maybe get a little bit more out of reading books physically. And you think about, you know, the difference in the experience between watching a movie in the cinema and watching it at home. Um, there's the whole, you know, that, that whole thing of, you know, the, the, like, the anticipation of going to the cinema. Um, you know, when I went to see Barbie um, a little while ago, they had like the Barbie box that you could stand in. So I did that and had a photograph taken. So, that, you know, there's more of an experience. And similarly, I think there's you get more of an experience reading things in physical format than you do on a Kindle. So that's the first reason. The second reason is I think that our strongest... So for those of us who love books and who love reading, that love of books and reading was probably, you know, formed when we were kids or teenagers when we were younger so for people of like my age uh, and you know Steve and Troy and, and Michael's age that means that we consume books physically yeah because there were no you know, there were no Kindles the only way you could read books apart from maybe getting a, a like a, a book on cassette from the library the only way you could consume books was as physical books so the books that we love, the books that really made an impact on our love of reading, and, you know, the, in, in terms of, of all forms of art, really, of, you know, books, movies, music, it tends to be the, the things that we consume and, and grow to love as, as teenagers and young adults that are the ones that we really treasure through, you know, throughout our lives. Certainly there are books I've read, you know, since I was 40, say, that I've absolutely loved. But the books that are, you know, really, really important to me and the authors who are really, really important to me, I think, tend to be the ones that I discovered as a, as a teenager. And, it, you know, it's the same with me for music. It's the same with movies. If you asked me to list my top 10 movies, the vast majority of them would have been made during the 80s. Um, so I think there's there's something about the fact that we, you know, the stories that are really meaningful for us, we consume consumed physically and therefore... Um, our memories of those books are of physical books. So I can remember, for example, reading the first time I read It by Stephen King. I can remember the physical book that I read. It was a, a hardback from the library. I got it as soon as it came out in hardback. I had it like, pre-ordered from the library and got it out. And I remember reading it on holiday um, on a beach with like the sand going between the pages. I can really remember that experience. And that, for for me, is part of my love of it as a book and part of why it's so important to me is because of that experience of reading the physical book. And even now, 
you know, kids today will typically their first books that they, um, you know, that they experience and they, that, that hopefully will build their lifelong love of books will be books that they read physically because kids books do tend to be physical. And certainly, um, you know, my kid, when they were little, had we had loads of loads and loads of books and those books become part of the, you know, become part of the daily routine. Um, you know, the bedtime story and things like that tends to be a physical book. Now, clearly, as people, you know, as people who are teenagers now, who grow to love books, it may be that they are consuming those books on Kindles. Um, and it'll be interesting to see in, you know, 10, 20, 30 years time when those people are older, if physical books are so important to them, because it may well be that the books that are really important to them, the books that you know, made them fall in love with, with reading they did consume as, as kindle books rather than physical books but we shall see T time will tell on that one um, but yeah for me personally i think it's those those two things that really m mean that whilst i love reading on the kindle my bond with books you know my passion for books will always be about physical books first and foremost so it's the, the physicality of the book and the fact that it's you know, I have so many memories associated with physical versions of books rather than just the stories contained within those books. So it's that and the fact that so many of the books that are really important to me, I read at a time when I could only consume them as physical books. And, they, and you know, those, those memories are very strongly of the physical book. So I hope you found that interesting. Do let me know your thoughts on this subject in the in the comments and I will leave links to the three videos I talked about in the description for this one. Do check them out. They're all well worth watching. Um, anyway, I will leave it there and say, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're safe and well out there. I hope you're reading good stuff and I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.